Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would do something a little different. I am calling this plan with me. I am going to take you behind the scenes of my business and just share how I am planning for this month. I personally love learning from example, so I hope that this helps you with your planning for this month as well. Okay, so I do like to plan. I feel like it helps me so much in actually bringing projects to life and actually hitting my bigger goals. So I like to plan things quarterly. So I've already done that part and I've set out what my major projects for quarter one are going to be. You can see that here in Asana under my big goals board, which has my larger goals for the year. And you can see that I've broken it down, listed out all my projects for quarter one and what I hope to accomplish. And then converted some of these, if they were large enough, then I converted them into their own standalone projects over here and put this all under a team, which I've titled 2022. And as you can see, I love using the colors and the emojis. So feel free to just pepper emojis throughout your Asana, okay? It makes it more fun and a lot brighter. So I love it. So let me go through and explain what all of the projects are now. The first one is creating a brand new version of my most popular online course, which is called Up Level with Asana. I really want this to be my core signature program and just make it as strong as I possibly can. So I really want this one to be super transformative for our students. So I'm going to go in again to this program now and revamp it. So I've already been working on it for January. January was all about like brainstorming and trying to figure out what this is going to look like. Now in February, I need to actually complete the outline and create all of the materials. So I need to film all of the trainings, create any additional resources that we will be making, such as worksheets, PDFs, um, any new Asana templates that we want to add to the program. So this is a pretty massive project and I'm okay with the fact that I'm gonna need to go into like course creation. So the next one is doing a new up-level launch. So I do launches in my business. They have been absolutely huge for us and have really made a difference in our sales. So I am a huge fan of doing them. I just think it's so great when you can host a live event and I think it draws attention to your offers in a way that more evergreen funnels can't. So yes, what do I mean by new up-level launch? I have done launches before for up-level with Asana, um, but I think they can be even stronger. So kind of to match the level that the course is now going to be, I want the launch experience to also be elevated. I think it will definitely be a five-day challenge still. Those are my favorite. That's what our community has said that they enjoy the most. As of now, I know that it's gonna be a five-day challenge, but I want it to be super valuable. This will be a free event, no matter if someone comes and joins us inside Up Level with Asana. So we have to design that whole thing. Like we have to decide, okay, what exactly is the topic going to be? What is something that would really get people to come and join us and sign up for this? So that's a lot of like marketing strategy here. Um, so yeah. February and March, and the goal is to actually host this live in March. And you might be thinking, okay, Louise, that is like a whole lot that you have planned here. Um, but keep in mind that I do have a team of people that are helping me with all of this. Um, so they are incredible and I won't be, I won't be doing this all by myself. Um, one of the coolest things that we do is they help me with actual brainstorming sessions. We just call them brainstorming sessions and we throw around ideas and I feel like that speeds up things a lot. So even if you don't have a team, get some of your biz BFFs to help you when you are bringing new projects to life, get that outside perspective. I think it will really, really help. So the next one is new up level systems. I want the systems around it to also match that. So that means customer experience. I feel like it's already quite good. Like we have a great welcome sequence where we're checking in with students. We have Facebook group where we offer support. Like everyone's questions are being answered. Make sure that it is super strong. So my team member Taylor, she's actually going to do that. She's going to go through it as though she is a brand new student and yeah, just let us know her thoughts and how that could be improved. And on top of this, we have an 
affiliate program. So anyone who joins us inside Amplava with Asana, they can actually become an affiliate, which is really, really cool. So that means that they, if they love it, then they can talk about it with their audience and their friends. And if anyone ends up joining us in Up Level with Asana, we give them a commission. So our students love this. Um, I love that. It's like even better than word of mouth. It's like, okay, well, you're talking about it and you love it, but then you're also earning money. Like, I love that. So yeah, we already have it. It is already successful, but I think we could make it even more obvious that we have it and we could give our affiliates more assets so it's easier for them to promote. So for example, giving them swipe copy for emails, giving them graphics that they could customize, all that good stuff. Okay, next I have list growth. So this has been a major pain point for me in the business, honestly. As the business has grown and as my goals grow as well, I'm like, okay, I need like a lot of people that are joining my list. When I say list, I mean email list is by far my most important metric in the business. If we grow our email list, then our revenue also grows as well. It is my goal to set up an SLO funnel or a tripwire funnel. So basically me will build my email list. And I like using ads because then I'm not just reliant on how organic content is performing. Uh, sharing organic content, I think it is one of the smartest things that you can do. But also I like to balance that out with ads so I can ensure that we're growing no matter what. Okay, then I have host birthday sale. We did do that. Maybe you came and joined us for that. So that was super fun. That went really well. Um, I got to make like a little Instagram reel with a bunch of balloons. <laughs> that was great. Um, so yeah, we did do that. Then I have down here promote that the price is going up for up level. Yeah. So with all of these improvements, then of course, as the value goes up, the price is going to go up as well, which I think is really good. We haven't raised the price in a long time. So we are going to do that. Therefore, I am promoting heavily all over the place that the price is going up and that if you join now, it's super beneficial because if you join now, you're going to get it at the existing price and you're going to get access to the brand new version coming out in March. So all around, it's good. And so because we're promoting that, that's been really good sales wise. So if you're ever you know, increasing your price, then I would do that. It's definitely a marketing opportunity. Okay, then I have improved branding and we've done a little bit here, but honestly, I think this was a little bit of our perfectionist selves talking. We need to keep in mind as well when we're building our businesses, right? Like, okay, does this really need to happen? Or is this just perfectionism taking over something that like I think is a need, but really it's more of like a want. So I would say this has become less of a priority now. And finally, the last one we have is improved content system. I really wasn't as consistent as I would like in 2021. So this is definitely a priority. I'm really working on consistency. I'm sure I will share more videos here on this channel about that. January was great. We were super consistent and it felt good because I also figured out a way to just make it fun and make it feel a lot lighter. So I do think that's important. When you're thinking of your obligations, just be like, okay, how could I approach this? differently. And I was looking at content um, in a really like heavy way, I would say. And now I'm like, wait, it's part of the job to just be able to be creative and create content that helps people like, wait, what? You know, that's amazing. So I've approached it a little bit differently. I've also been looking at ways like, okay, how can I make this easier on myself? I am hopeful that this is going to continue and I think it will. Okay, so not only do we have this list here in the big goals board in Asana, but then as I said, they get split out into their own projects. So like the course, the launch, the systems, they got their own project, but some of them like the improving the branding, the content system and the birthday sale that really we just put under our marketing and sales project that we have. Okay, so let me give you an example of what these look like. So under new up-level course, you can see at the top, I start things off with, okay, what are our goals with this project? So I have, you know, we want to bring the new program to life. We want to make it the most transformative thing that we can, right? So just jotting down overall big picture goals and then some milestones. So like, okay, when we want it complete, I want this entire course complete by March 1st. And then what is really helpful when you're doing your planning is to set some milestones and actually put a date on them. So for example, if you click on these three little dots here, you'll see mark as milestone, just click that. 
and it turns it over here to a milestone. And it's cool because it looks a bit different on the calendar as well. As you can see, it looks like that. Okay, so when you are working on your projects, how can you break it down even further? So for example, I have, okay, when the outline needs to be complete. And so what I really need to do now, this is just like the first version of this project plan. Really now I need to go more in depth and break this out even more. Um, so I would, for example, say, okay, the modules overall are decided. Then I would say, I'm going to film module one by this particular date and so on. However you can break it down for yourself, it's going to make the project way more likely to actually be completed and feel a lot less overwhelming for you, which is fantastic. Okay. Then also, so not only do I have the goals, but I have who is, has the primary responsibility for this program and then also who is going to be helping. So let's format this properly. I'll do primary like that and then I'll do secondary and cut this out here. Okay, great. So then I will take any of our date related goals and I'm going to move them down here to important info and dates. Okay. And then I need to decide who is going to be responsible for these milestones, right? So it's like, okay, yes, we have that Neve is going to complete this and let's mark this as a milestone. So yes, we have that, but what about these other two? And I will assign those to me because really I'm the one that's going to have to make sure those get done. So it's great that we have some individual tasks laid out, but really today what I need to do now is add even more, make sure I've covered everything. So then I need to go over to the assignee tab and decide who is actually going to complete this specific task and then also what the due date is for that task. If I don't do that, then things can very easily fall through the cracks. So give this a try. It doesn't matter if you don't have a team at this point. These could all be assigned to myself, but the fact that I give myself due dates um, is really, really helpful. So I'm going to plan out specific to-dos for the course, the launch, the new up-level systems, the list growth system, and this one doesn't require any to-dos actually. We've already marked that down and that's just something we're doing on an ongoing basis. So yeah, that is how my monthly planning goes. I I hope that you loved seeing how this all works and that it's inspired you to really plan out your projects for this month and get it on the calendar. So I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at what's going on in the business. If you want to learn more about how to use Asana for your planning, I do have a free workshop where I walk you through it. So click the link in the description below to sign up for that. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new and I'll see you real soon with another video.